my name is Faith Le and I'm the writer director of Serial Dater. I've been writing for a long time and I decided recently to change to screenwriting. And to get into to be a screenwriter, you need to get experience and I hear I heard over and over that I needed to just get something made, so I decided that I needed to write something and then I have this friend called Steph who plays Alex and I asked her if she missed acting, which she told me she did. And I was like, what about I write you a character and you act in it because I do not want to be in front of the camera. I guess it's all of uh, the friends around me who uh, tell me about their dating story, one in particular called Justin. Just the concept of Tinder, last uh, a couple years ago I had a flatmate who was on Tinder and we were basically uh, swiping right or left for him and writing messages for him. And then we did that with a few other friends too, just and it was kind of fun. So I figured what if the person that's swiping is not the real, the real person that is actually looking for a date. I'm Kimberly Gibson and I'm the co-owner of D Productions, but also the executive producer for Serial Dater. Uh, a lot of back behind the scenes stuff. So part of it is funding a large part of this. Um, it's helping do a lot of the setup, um, also, we'll be handling a lot of the marketing and getting that out there. And probably most important to most of the crew is I handle pretty much all the food. <laughs> Faith, who's the writer and the director, is uh, had a cool idea for the show and kind of drafted a pilot. And through talking with Steph, uh, discussed kind of how they wanted to bring it to light. Maybe do like a little pilot shoot to try and make it, uh, see what would come of it. And well, honestly, we did do the pilot and it was really cool and funny. And we said, hey, why don't we actually make something of this? So Steph and I started a production company and then that's what has now become the first series of Serial Dater. Uh, so season one of Serial Dater is uh, the story of Alex, who has been divorced for two years and not gone on any single date since then. Uh, and her sister and ex decide that it's time for her to get back on the dating horse and uh, set her up on date using profile photos from parties she went to and uh, create fake characters for each of the date. And then just tell her you have a date on this day and you just have to go on it. Ooh, um, a lot of quirky comedy. Some stuff that's a little exaggerated and I mean, hopefully you never experience it yourself if you go on an online date. Um, but I think at the same time, you'll be able to see some truth in kind of your experiences in online dating by watching the first season. Just get excited for the flirting. Hopefully it's on there. Alex is crazy. Um, she, She's just, um, she's actually pretty insecure. She puts on a really um, confident front and outgoing front, but underneath it all, there's a lot of insecurity related to the fact that she, that her husband left her for Jeff. Uh, even though she wasn't really into him back at the time, it's just the idea of being left. Uh, that didn't sit very well with her. Um, I think Alex is a little lost. And by that I mean is just coming out of a harsh, break up and kind of trying to really find who she is um, so she's a little maybe confused about what she wants and and is possibly trying a little too hard to be something that isn't actually true to herself. Charlie is very outgoing and very chirpy and uh, she's just a rock for her sister. I think Charlie's fun. Uh, I think she's a great kid sister. Um, is really probably sees the genuinity and um, and Alex and what she could be as a person, and is really trying to bring her out of her shell and make sure that she actually enjoys life and kind of gets out of the little bit of a funk that she's in. Max is a bit of a party goer. He likes uh, to. He has a simple way of seeing life. Just he's a he's a nice guy though. He's caring. He cares for Alex. So yeah, he just likes to take life as it comes and not complicate things. Max seems very genuine, but it also seems like potentially he feels a little guilty. So I think some ways he's trying to get Alex back out there, and not only to just help her because he cares about her a lot, but also I think it'll help him maybe feel a little less burdened with the guilt that he has. Jeff is the loyal friend that's been there since they've been 14 or something. And uh, he cares for Alex and Charlie and Max. Uh, there's a bit of tension between uh, Jeff and Alex from the fact that her ex went with Jeff, but 
he they've their friendship just goes beyond beyond that. Um, Jeff is actually probably my favorite character, mostly because I like people that just kind of tell it how it is. And Jeff, I think, is very true. He cares about people in general, and so he's a really good friend. I don't think the situation with Max is something that he would have planned for. It was one that unfortunately just kind of happened. And fortunately, I guess, if you look at it that way. But I think he really cares about everyone, um, Max and Charlie and Alex, and really wants to do what is the best way of doing this. And he cares for all the people he's never met to, like all the dates. So he wants to really try and um, make sure that Alex is being true to herself and not really kind of taking people for a game and being rude to them. Mel is a barista who is uh, amused by Alex showing up one day in a superhero costume at the bar and wonders what's going on. And then Alex comes back to that same bar a few more times in different costume every time. And Mel is intrigued and she kind of likes that girl that comes in random outfits. Mel seems pretty cool. She seems very chill. Um, she seems to have a good sense of humor, uh, which I like that. And I mean, so she seems like she's a really nice person. Hannah is um, someone who is very perceptive and doesn't take any bullshit and uh, was exciting to go on a date with Alex and when she sees the bullshit that Alex puts up she instead of kind of rolling her eyes like she rolls her eyes but instead of um, dissing the date or just giving up on it she's like oh let's that girl seems funny so let's give it another shot Hannah also, I like, she's no nonsense, so like immediately she kind of plays along, so she's playful, which is cool, but at the same time she's not really going to put up with someone kind of trying to play a game, so she calls it out, but also is still willing to give someone a second try, so that's pretty cool. And then, what is your worst dating story? I do not have a dating story, as I've been going from serious relationship to serious relationship. This is actually, it's before online dating apps, but not before online, because um, the internet existed when I was able to date. Um, but it was a, a forum for my local where I'm from, and it was, of all things, for a softball league, and it was for a gay softball league, and there was a coach kind of trying to find people that would play in a, on a league that they needed. And I've been playing softball since I was a kid, so I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And I started chatting with someone that was on the team, and they wanted to meet up. And I was like, okay, cool, I meet some new people and stuff. So we went out, and she was just, and it was, it ended up being a date, but I don't, I wasn't really going out on it with the thought of it being a date. And she was just very obviously wanting it to be a date. And we were um, chatting, and she started describing a lot of things in her life and some stuff, and it all sounded really familiar. And afterwards, after the date, and I got back, and I was just um, kind of, I met up with my friend later in that week and was talking to her and stuff, and then I realized that my friend that I was having coffee with, the person I went on a date with was her current girlfriend, <laughs> and that she was cheating on her. And I was like, well, that's awkward. So I then had to, I had to make sure it was accurate and not just a weird coincidence. And unfortunately, it definitely was, so. I, that was that made for a very awkward softball season. <laughs> season two of Serial Dater will have um, a face-off between potential um, relationship people for Alex, and some of them might be unexpected. Um, you might see some familiar faces come back in season two which ones we won't tell.